If you watch this video, you probably already know that Guile Scheme ID consists of two parts, front-end and back-end, and they interact with each other using a synchronous message protocol called an REPL. Today we will cover important topic of sessions. I'm Andrew Tropin, I work on operating systems and programming languages and do a lot of free and open source software along the way. There are basically two important uh, type of sessions in array scheme ID. The first one is assessment and we will start with it. For the beginning, let's uh, start a backend part using usual approach and now we can connect it. So open a scheme buffer and connect uh, to the backend from our Emacs frontend. Now we can write expressions, display phi and evaluate them like this. Very cool. As you can see here, we have uh, in status bar array connected. But if you open another project, for example, this one, and uh, we'll find a file, uh, you will see that array uh, will have a disconnected status. Th this is why, because it's a different project and buffers and files of this project are not associated with uh, our connection buffer. This is where assessment sessions come into play and we can do assessment link with project and select uh, a connection buffer we want to use. And now if I evaluate something, you will see the results appearing in the same buffer. And of course you see there is a connected notion here. Um, let's try it on a link, this project, and you can see that now it uh, disconnected again. Uh, let's link it back and let's open another buffer in the same project. And you can see it uh, says connected as well. Also, we can open a random buffer, uh, enable scheme mode here, and it will be connected for some reason. Okay, I didn't uh, expect this. Uh, let's try an open TMP file, and this one is disconnected. Okay, that's good. And now we can link not uh, the whole project, but the only buffer. And evaluate expressions. Okay, seems to work fine. Uh, if we just uh, unlink the whole project, the evaluation will stop working. Good, uh, it works. And uh, this is basically about assessment sessions. It uh, contains the information about buffers, project, and connect uh, them with connection buffer. Now, uh, there's another notion of sessions, which called an REPL sessions. If you open a connection buffer, you will see that an REPL session created uh, and an REPL session created message here for evaluation and tooling purposes. Uh, let's open array uh, model PL file uh, and we'll see a code for reload model. This uh, code for reload model uh, calls internal array eval uh, function and it, it uses tooling session by default. So if I go back to our test SCM, evaluate the whole model, and after uh, that we'll try to reload the model. You will see that model reloaded and nothing printed here. Uh, it uh, was using the tooling session, how to check it. We can start uh, some other evaluation, for example this one, and try to reload uh, the model at the same time. Uh, you can see that there is a counter uh, says that there is two concurrent requests uh, happening at the same time. An REPL session basically needed uh, to make a queue of uh, evaluation requests. For example, if uh, I try to evaluate it a few times, you can uh, see here that the number increased with each time uh, I try to evaluate the expression. And after the, ex the expression finish uh, its evaluation and it prints the results. So uh, we have only one evaluation session and 
sent a few evaluation requests to it and they got queued and executed one by one. But if uh, I execute evaluation and at the same time reload the model, those requests are executed in parallel. Uh, I use sleep tool uh, here to uh, show the long running process so they can be run in parallel and you will see the difference between uh, the consequent uh, evaluation of the expressions and the parallel evaluation of the expressions. Uh, of course, there is some API for uh, creating session using array and there is a function called array ensure session ID and here uh, you can use an arbitrary name for the session. Let's uh, specify this uh, different session for array reload model and evaluate uh, this function. And let's try it. Uh, you can see here the comment appeared that new uh, and repl session created. If I execute the same comment uh, one more time, uh, no additional session created. Uh, this is because the ins ensure session uh, ID function uh, create session only if it doesn't exist yet. But if it exists, it reuse uh, the existing one. Uh, this way you can run a lot of uh, NREPL operations in parallel. And how it looks internally, you can see in the log here. Uh, you can see that it's m it, e each message contains not only ID, but also session, uh, incoming message and outcoming message. Uh, let's see how the session get created. We send a request uh, which contains operation clone and the server respond with new session and status done uh, and the same ID. And after that you can use this session ID to make requests. For example, oh. Uh, by mistake, I uh, added uh, a wrong thing here uh, because the second argument is actually model, not uh, the session ID. That is why there is an S argument which contains the session hash. Uh, of course, here should be a model uh, which is array test, array test. And let's evaluate this thing again and reload model. And let's see uh, the request here. Okay, the session that is model tooling session and as array test and uh, the response to the same session ID. That's basically it about sessions. Thank you for your attention and I hope it was useful. See you in a bit. Bye.